Hello friends, it's Rodney Lewis Boyd. It's April 18th. Lent is over. The cross is empty. Jesus is resurrected from the dead. And now we continue on with the rest of the year, 365 days to go. Today, I wanna to talk to you about the cross. The cross is on my mind. Uh, I had a, a mentor I have a mentor, Bruce Coble, who once told me, Rodney, never get away from the cross. He also told me at one point when I was leading worship at a church, Rodney, worship is critical. And he was right on both counts, then and today. Now, I've written some things on my steno pad uh, about the cross. I may be reading a lot of it. It's too much for me to remember, even though I do teach memory for a living. Uh, <laughs> so here we go. The cross, or let's call it the tree, is where Jesus became the propitiation, or as they say in New Orleans, propitiation. Uh, the propitiation which simply means the satisfactory substitute in our place for our sin. You know, the song says, <clears throat> He paid a debt he did not owe. I owed a debt I could not pay. I needed someone to wash my sins away. And now I sing a brand new song Amazing grace, how sweet the sound. Christ Jesus paid a debt that I could never pay. That's propitiation. The cross is where Jesus became the bloody and almost unrecognizable lamb who redeemed us with his precious blood my redemption. Adam and Eve in the garden sold us, sold us out by disobedience and high treason to the devil. And the devil became the God of this world. Jesus came, hung on the cross, and became the redemptive lamb who bought us back Jesus is better than the green stamp program back in the 50s and 60s where you get your stamps at a grocery store and you fill a book of stamps and then you go to the store and redeem the stamps for whatever you wanted. <clears throat> I have been redeemed. Another <laughs> song I have been redeemed, I have been redeemed by the blood of the Lamb, by the blood of the Lamb. I have been redeemed. Well, it goes on and on. By the blood of the Lamb, I have been... I can't remember the song. Never mind. <laughs> if you can't have fun with this thing, why well, have it, right? Now, the cross... I may have read this already. For Jesus became the bloody and almost unrecognizable lamb who redeemed us with his precious blood, my redemption. Thank you, Lord. The cross, or the tree, is where Jesus hung and became a curse. Why? So that we would be blessed. In Galatians, it says, cursed is anyone who hangs on a tree, and Jesus hung. Back in my old Bible school days, there was a poster in the wall that some found blasphemous, and it said, Jesus hung up for our hang-ups. had a picture of Jesus on the cross. But I love that. He hung up on a tree for our hang-ups, became a curse, so that we would be blessed. The cross is where I identified with the death, burial, and resurrection. Nothing more, 
nothing less. DBR. I got this phrase. I've been using it for 30 years or more because of Bruce Coble. Never get away from the cross. Never get away, Rodney, from the cross. And that gelled in my mind, the cross, the death, the burial, the resurrection. Nothing more, nothing less. If you're reading Watchman Nee's book, The Normal Christian Life, at one point through certain chapters, he refers to the cross. But I think around chapter 8, he says, here's a shift. When I say the cross, I mean the death, burial, and resurrection. And so uh, he hung on the cross. And the cross, again, is where I identify. When you say you identify with something, that means you relate to it. And as men and women of God, we have to have our identification in Christ. <clears throat> Identifying with Christ, with his death, burial, resurrection. I was watching a show on one of these nature channels, and it was something about some guy who, he was a snake hunter. <laughs> a snake hunter. And he was, he was there was a, a snake hole. And he was poking around. <clears throat> he's his flashlights. He's looking. He's poking. And all of a sudden, this is like a coiled viper came springing out of the thing with his mouth wide open, headed for his private parts. And this guy said, he had an English accent. I can't do an English accent, but I'll, I'll attempt it. He said, oh, he almost got my credentials. <laughs> credentials. That's what we identify with. That's who people identify us with. So uh, so when, when the cross is where you identify with the death, burial, and resurrection, you're identifying with the credentials of God who became flesh, who came to earth, who died on the cross and went back up to heaven. Nothing more, nothing less. <clears throat> the cross, according to Galatians 2.20, is where I was crucified with Christ. And it's no longer I who live, but Christ lives in me. And the life which I now live in the flesh, in the physical body, I live by faith in the Son of God who loved me, his motivation, and delivered himself up. Nobody took his life from him. He gave it willingly he delivered himself up for me, Rodney Lewis Boyd. Fill in the blank with your name. Mm. <clears throat> it is at the cross that I found the power of God, according to Galatia, uh, Romans 1.16, and I'm not ashamed of this. I found that the power of God for good news, the gospel, the death on the cross, the burial in the grave, and yes, <clears throat> the resurrection the empty tomb, because he is risen. He is risen indeed. <laughs> oh. It was at the cross, at the cross where I first saw the light and the burden of my heart rolled away. It was there by faith I receive my sight, and now I am happy all the day. Because up from the grave he arose with a mighty triumph for his foes. He arose a victor from the dark domain, and he lives forever with his saints to reign. He arose. He arose, hallelujah, Christ arose, which gives us victory in Jesus, my Savior forever. He sought me and he bought me with his redeeming blood. I knew him now, I knew him, 
and all my love is due him. He plunged me to victory beneath his cleansing flood blood that flowed off the cross. Father, in the name of Jesus, reveal yourself to my brothers and sisters how important your cross is, the empty cross, because you're risen. You're risen from... <laughs> <laughs> You're risen from the dead. <laughs>